Now let's go into some of the, the challenges we've been having. So, you know, I'll speak to this slide for, for a few minutes here because this kind of summarizes some of the major challenges we've seen. So I'll go through them one by one. So starting in the upper left, the rapid mix shift. You know, this started when, when COVID first happened, all the bars and restaurants shut down. And what happened was very similar to probably what happened in a lot of your industries. We saw a big change in consumer behavior. Instead of going to events, sporting events, bars and restaurants, they went and loaded up on products at the, rest, at the uh, grocery stores, right? And so this caused a big shift out of bottles and kegs into cans. And so last year, the story of the year was can shortages and the industry could not keep up with aluminum can demand. And uh, this year it's pivoted and when things reopen, there was two factors that happened. One, the reverse of what happened last year, which the on-premise came back, bars and restaurants where bottles are higher in, in uh, usage. But also the events, like your sporting events, opened slowly, right? They went to 25% capacity and then 50% capacity. And all of the uh, venues didn't want to bring back in kegs because they didn't want to load up on such large quantities of beer when they couldn't know how much attendance they were going to have. So they brought in a lot more bottles and um, other single serve packages as well as 16 ounce cans um, because they were afraid of going back to draft. So uh, the rapid channel mix shift has kind of happened multiple times through this COVID crisis and impacted us. Material shortages, of course, that's a big change in demand, but then there have been material shortages not only due to increased demand, but also supply chain disruptions. So in glass bottles, that's the story of this year. The demand went higher. There was a major uh, shutdown of a big glass plant in Texas when the polar vortex hit, right? Every other glass plant that was prepared for the cold weather didn't have an issue. But in Texas, we all know they weren't as prepared and a lot of negative impacts there. And a glass plant went down for a week, disrupting glass supply in the U.S. Then, uh, you know, this little picture of the, the computer here the largest glass supplier in the world, had a cyber attack and their logistics systems were taken over in a ransomware attack and for probably close to a month, the largest glass supplier in the world did not have good visibility into their inventory and also could not move. They had one of our biggest impacts was this one glass plant in Indiana that has a fully automated warehouse and the ransomware attack took control of their AGVs and their um, WMS system and they couldn't move product or know what inventory they had on hand. So we had major visibility problems with our glass suppliers as well as just a shortage in the industry. So if you go to grocery stores now, you might see that other glass products are um, you know, struggling to keep up in the market out there because there's a general glass shortage now. OTR freight market tightness, man, if you haven't heard of this and you're in the logistics world, then you're probably living under a rock or something. We ship about 2,000 trucks a day of beer. Uh, that's about 50% on our dedicated fleets and 50% on the OTR market. And so the tightness in just general domestic transportation has been very impactful to us. Then, of course, ocean freight and port congestion, you know, is out of this world. This is a graph, and I know it's probably a bit hard to see from the back of the room, but of global schedule reliability, and you can see that when COVID hit, just a few months after, the reliability of ocean freight, you know, tanked. And it hasn't come back at all since COVID started. So it's not getting any better. It's staying the same or even getting, you know, worse at times. Lower safety stocks. This is a real picture of our whole, one of our wholesalers around the country. And of course, there's a lot of beer off camera. You know, they tried to make it look worse than it is when they're sending it to us. But uh, that's the reality. Our wholesalers, because of all the disruptions, have far less safety stock than they've ever had. In a typical year at this time, coming out of the summer, our wholesalers would still have, you know, 18 days of inventory. And right now, they're probably running with half that on average. And uh, so a lot of challenges with their inventory because we can't keep up with all the demands. And then of course, during all this, consumers are still changing what they actually like to drink. And so you see, we've got a seltzer over there on tap, right? And seltzers are one of the biggest, more recent introductions, but it's a constant challenge to keep up with changing consumer demands. And consumers don't stop changing their mind on what they like during a, you know, a, a supply chain crisis.